In this video, we'll be covering a quick tutorial on assertion statements in Java. Now, these are really useful because they allow us to assert or state for sure certain conditions within our code. So we're going to start off by diving straight into an example. But before we do that, we actually have to enable assertions within IntelliJ. So the way we do that is simply by going to run and then we edit the configurations. And then for our VM options, we simply add in dash EA, which stands for enable assertions. And so I'm just gonna apply that and then hit okay. If you're running this from your command line, however, then you would simply add a dashed EA after your Java and just before your program name before you hit enter. And now let's have a look at the code I've written here. So I start off with my main method and then I define an array, an integer array, with the values 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then what I'm going to do is print out a call to some array, which is a method that I've defined here. And I've passed this array here as a parameter. And all some array does is exactly what it says on the tin. So it will use a for loop to sum all the elements in the array. And now let's have a look at using assertion statements in here. And say, for example, I wanted to make sure my parameter, so the nums array here, has at least one element in it. Then what I could do is use an assert statement and simply say assert that nums.length is greater than zero. And I can hit a semicolon. And then if I run this, we can see I get the result. So if I change this, say I made it 8 so that it fails, then if I run it again, we see we get an error saying exception in thread main java.lang.assertion error. And so running this, we can be sure every time that our array is going to be over a certain length. So if I change this back to 0, then we can see that each time nums will have a length greater than 0. And this works with anything that will evaluate to true or false. So every time this is false, then the error will come up. Otherwise, if it's true, then we'll be all right. And so I can actually include multiple conditions to test. So for example, say I wanted to make sure that nums, i.e. the first element of nums, was greater than, say, 1 then I would be able to run this. And here we can see the first element is two and two is greater than one. So we could run this and this would evaluate to true. And so would this giving us our result. And so again, if I change this to say three, then we expect it to fail. However, this error here isn't really useful. And so what we can actually do is go one step further and include our own specific message. So here I'm gonna say, the first number is too small. And then I'm added a colon. So I've added a colon here, and then the text or the error message that's going to come up, and then a semicolon. And so if I run this, we know it's going to fail. And here we have the error, the first number is too small coming up. And so this is really great for helping to debug your code because you can put your assertion statements in wherever you want in your method. For example, I could have one here just to check that total was greater than zero. And that means I'm able to develop my function or program and make sure that they meet the constraints of whatever the task is that I've been set. And then what I can do afterwards is when I know that my program is running properly, I can actually get rid of my assertion statements and run the program without them to give me a much shorter simpler program which I know is running correctly. And so that's all for assertion statements and I hope you found the content useful and if you have please do like, share and subscribe and of course as per usual I'll be posting all the code for this video in my git repository posted in the link in the description below. And in the meantime you can also check out my channel to see a whole load more videos on Java programming.